Welcome. Thank you for watching our video of the MCI Auto Kicker, manufactured by Midcontinent Industries in Newton, Kansas. This is our truck receiving package, option two, meaning that we have the remote location of this collection box and sample divider versus in prior units, it was mounted up on top of the unit. So that re required 13 feet height to install it. This will allow us into a nine foot ceiling now. So we're hoping that works well. It has been tested and it has been working in facilities so far. So we know that it will work. Uh, we're doing pneumatically conveying of the sample to moisture tester, protein analyzer, as well as the shaker unit. This option allows you to move this system here somewhere besides right beside the machine for service. Uh, we also have safety issues that we're taking into consideration with this. This will be lower. Everything can be accessed uh, lower than the four foot height of uh, fall protection. So that's another plus for this, this option too. And basically what we do, uh, how this works is with the truck probe package, the probe is connected up here. We do not supply the truck probe, but we can hook the probe to this and uh, basically the same as a collection box on the normal truck probe. We have an indicator light a sensor in this hopper here. Whenever the sample is, there's enough sample, this indicator light will come on and that will alert the operator that uh, there is enough sample to run and they can then get the probe out of the truck and shut that off and then they'll be ready to run. Once this indicator light comes on, then they'll simply get that done and then they'll push the button and that will dump the sample down, divide it between their file sample that allows them to do their odor tests, what have you, bugs, damage, that kind of thing. So we provide that as well. The other portions will be conveyed pneumatically to the moisture tester as well as the shaker unit. And once it's initialized by the PC, this system will fire up, run that sample and do all those tests and then put all the information back on with the PC and then it'll allow it to also be sent out to be utilized in uh, truck scale ticket systems of different kinds. So in a nutshell, that's basically how this works. And uh, I'll go ahead and simulate a truck probe and I'll suck up a sample and we'll see what happens. Now you'll notice that I have, uh, we now have the indicator light here on this, as I explained earlier. And basically the operator just simply initializes that by pushing the button. You'll hear uh, pretty loud vacuum noises. Those are vacuum sources for the pneumatics that are normally mounted either in a quiet room or outside of the, the office, just similar to what the truck probe vacuum source would be. So you'll hear that noise, but that's not really the way it is in your facility. Okay, here we go. We're going to push the button. Okay. That is on a timer, so now we're shutting the collection box. We have sent the samples to the devices. At this point, the operator would verify the identifier numbers for the truck scale ticket system so they match. I uh, simply can enter them in here or verify that it's correct. Simply initialize by Shift F1 and we'll start it up and we'll run a sample. Meanwhile, the 
This file sample can be used for damage, odor, bagging, that type of thing. So we've done some sample under the moisture tester. It's doing its test into the protein analyzer at this point. We'll start the protein analyzer as well. The shaker unit has fired up and is running the sifting of the sample out. Taking out the dockage, the broken grain. And then uh, once the moisture tester has ran the moisture test, it will populate to the field on the PC with the temperature. Again, the operator can simply do what other functions they need to do while this is doing its tests. See the protein analyzer has just finished its test. It will put the result on the screen. The shaker is now stopping. It's going to dump in the shrunken or broken. And then it's going to dramatically convey that sample back up here to this other hopper. And at that point, we will run the test weight test with the moisture tester. Again, that vacuum noise, again, is another source that will be mounted in a quiet room or outside. Dump the moisture, or dump the wheat for the test weight over into the side, so we do not put any more onto the protein analyzer. The shaker is finishing up its test up in the different hoppers of different things that we've separated out of the sample. It's finished up and it will send the weights to figure the dockage and percentages on the PC. The test weight has finished. It's on there. We stopped on the sample. At this point the results would be sent out to a scale ticket PC of some type. We can also generate a text file or an XML file with this program to be used over a corporate network instead of sending to a PC. But uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.